Today I'm going to do the halo form reaction. It's not like this reaction hasn't been done on YouTube yet. You know, there are plenty of probably better videos than this one. But I need the chloroform. So I'm going to start with 1.16 kilograms of bleach. This is the 12% stuff, so the more concentrated bleach which is industrial grade. You see, I bought this stuff quite a while ago and I have plenty of this left and I suppose I just bought it because it was so cheap in bulk and I don't need it anymore. So I'll probably convert most of this to chloroform but today just 1.16 kilograms. So I'm going to refill this now. This is on ounces. No, we are not Americans. And Oh, the stuff is literally like poison in a can. The stuff stinks. I don't like working with it. Well, I guess I have to. Eight hundred eighty. Still a bit missing. Blah! It's splashed. You know what, I'm better going to take it with both hands now. This is really stupid. I got the splash right on my goggle. Glad I was wearing this this time. So I'll be right back. Right now cooling is being added. Because this reaction is exothermic I do not have any ice. And in order to prevent at least some of the chloroform from instantly vaporizing I'm going to use cold water, well it's 20 C, a gigantic amount. And if this is around here, this is actually a lot greener in reality than on camera. So if this is around here, um, I'm going to add the acetone, because you know, I just want the chloroform. And additionally, a thunderstorm is rolling in. I liked it, always if I start experimenting, weather makes the choice to hit me somewhere but this is going to be stored with a lid on it anyway so I don't care to prevent vaporization loss the cooling water is now added and in this beaker I have 35 gram not milliliter 35 grams of acetone so it's roughly around 40 a bit more than 40 mils but go just with 35 grams. I'm going to add this to this and then I start steering. So a little steering to make sure that the acetone is evenly spread out. And I actually see this reaction goes faster than I like. It's already colorless. Not that good. But let's do this for half an hour. Some more stirring. And it smells like chloroform. I'll put a lid on this. Definitely now. As a little update. This is now as warm as a pleasant shower. But everything is good. This is cold. Just the beaker inside. It's warm like 37C. But I placed a pseudo condenser on top. This is plastic lid with water filled in. So that stuff condenses and just drips down again so I really don't care about it overheating intermediate update quite some chloroform has formed and I'm guessed it's almost about ready I'm giving this again a stir because some has settled on the top here and then I'm going to let this sit and we'll be extracting this I hope you can see this this is chloroform at the bottom, nicely sitting here. And additionally, there will be some dissolved in the water, but I'm going to take care of this. Now it's finally time to take a look at what we got. A little to no chloroform here. Let's allow this to um, remove the smell. We see that a little bit of acetone did. And polymerize making this yellow because it was colorless 
just a few seconds ago. Let's take a look at what we got. Nice. That's what I call a chloroform layer. So the only thing left now is decanting this. And for that I need both hands. And there we can see our yield now. Here it's about 40%. I already did this once. So I'm just going to add this to the batch of last time in this brown bottle. Here I did this now with two liters in total. And I'm probably going to do this with everything I have. So the whole 10 liters. So 8 liters are still remaining. But um, for a demonstration, this is probably enough. So there we have it, the chloroform. It's probably a little bit difficult to see, but that's what you get. Around 45 milliliters of chloroform from 2 liters of 12% bleach. That's actually quite okay.